I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will write characteristics of a rational function which is f of x equals to 4 minus 2x divided by 2x minus 1. We are going to look into x and y intercepts, equation of asymptotes, positive and negative intervals, domain and range, sketch the graph and find the interval of increase and decrease. Now let me begin by factoring the numerator then intercepts will be very clear to us so f of x could be written as i'll write minus 2 so i'll rearrange write minus 2 plus 4 then i'm going to factor minus 2 and then i get x minus 2 right so that is what i get in the numerator and then the denominator we have 2x minus 1 now from here, to write down the x and y intercepts, x intercepts are when the numerator is 0. So clearly, numerator is 0 at x equals to 2, right? So we get x intercept as 2. So we can write x intercept at x equals to 2. How about y intercept? y intercept is the value of the function when x is 0. So we can find what is f of 0. f of 0 in this case will be 4 divided by minus 1, right? So it is 4 divided by minus 1, which is minus 4. So we get the y-intercept. Now equation of asymptotes. Now we know that the denominator 2x minus 1 will be 0 at x equals to half, right? So, so to get the asymptotes, if we analyze the denominator, we get vertical asymptote, right? So, so vertical asymptote is at x equals to half. We get it by equating 2x minus 1 equals to 0, right? So this we do by equating 2x minus 1 equals to 0. That gives us x equals to half as the vertical asymptote. Now, since the degree of numerator and denominator is same, right? So same degree means horizontal asymptote will be ratio of leading coefficients. In this case, minus 2 divided by 2, right? So it is y equals to minus 2 divided by 2, which is minus 1. So we get another has asymptote, which is horizontal asymptote at minus 1. Positive, negative interval, domain range, sketch the graph, interval of increasing and decreasing. It is easier to answer all these questions once. From this information, we sketch the graph of the function, right? So, uh, let me make a sketch of this graph now. So, I'll do it on this side. We'll make a small graph. What we have learned here is that the horizontal asymptote is minus 1. Let's say this is minus 1 for us. That's the horizontal asymptote. Vertical asymptote is at half. So let's say this is half for us. That's the vertical asymptote. And the intercepts are at x intercept is at x equals to 2. So this is half for us. Let's say 2 is somewhere here. The y intercept is at minus 4. So minus 4 will be kind of somewhere here. So this is this is 1, let's say this is minus 4 for us. Now this function is a transformed 1 over x function. So with these points itself, you can approximately sketch the graph. It should be kind of like this. Right. So you get a graph which is kind of like this. Now, to be more precise, what you have to do is, near the asymptotes, take some points, one distance away, and then get two more points here to get more precise when you really sketch it on a graph paper, right? Anyway, here, we'll continue with our discussion, and uh, we'll write down all other things required for this exercise. So let me write down here that the y-intercept is, is minus 4. The x-intercept is 2. Now, x-intercept is a point where the graph changes from negative to positive, right? Or positive to negative. Now, let's answer 
positive negative intervals. Now from the graph we can see that the positive interval is from the vertical asymptote which is at this vertical asymptote is at let me write down here x equals to half right so that is the that's the value of this x value for the vertical asymptote so what we see is that the positive interval let me write positive interval is from half to 2 right after that it becomes negative from half to 2 for the negative interval, the function has negative interval from minus infinity to half, the vertical asymptote, so minus infinity to half, and then from 2 to infinity. So we can write comma or union, 2 to infinity. Domain and range. As far as the domain is concerned, it is x belongs to real numbers except for the vertical asymptote which is at half so x is not equal to half range it is approaching the value of minus one this is minus one for us but it is never minus one so range is y belongs to real numbers where y is not equal to minus one correct sketch the graph you almost done it to get a better picture of this what we can do we know the value at zero we can find few other points so we can have substitute the value of x as for example 3 and 1 find the values right so use those points so I'll recommend you to find the value of this function when x is equal to 3 right so you can write 3 here so we get when you write 3 you get minus 2 times, if I write 3, it is 1 here. 6 minus 1 is 5. Let me write 3 for x minus 1. That is minus 2 divided by, by 5. You could also get a value for, so we get one point. And then you can try, write down the value of x. We already know at half, so let's do 1. And if I write 1 here, we get 4 minus 2 as 2 in the numerator and 2 minus 1 as 1 so it is 2 so at 1 we know it is 2 actually you can now write one more value let's say the value at 2 so you can find what is the value of the function at 2 so if I write 2 here so at 1 it is 2 so at 1 we can say the value is 2 so this point is 2 here right so we get some more points on the graph that really helps you to uh, get a better picture or more accurate graph uh, we could do f of minus one minus one so likewise you can do more values to make a table of values select at least five points my recommendation is five points for accuracy also you have to show behavior near the asymptotes that will also help you to sketch a better graph now let's get to interval of increasing and decreasing this graph is always decreasing right so it is always decreasing so uh, the interval here is from minus infinity to the vertical asymptote which is at half and then from half to positive infinity it's always decreasing never increasing Okay, so that is how you get all the characteristics. Now, let me also discuss the behavior near the asymptotes. So, what we see here is that we have written the function here as f of x equals to minus 2 times x minus 2 divided by 2x minus 1. And we know from here that the vertical asymptote is at x equals to half. Now what happens when you approach x from the left side? That means when you have a number which is slightly less than half. Now if it is slightly less than half, then y approaches. If I write a number here which is slightly less than half, in that case, this number will be less than 1, so this is negative, right? And the numerator will be 
negative times negative positive so y value will approach negative infinity and when x is slightly more than half then the denominator becomes positive and so y is approaching positive infinity right so that that is the behavior which you saw here that is important to understand and to get the behavior when x approaches negative infinity that is if i write a very large negative value here then my function will be what so that you can get by substituting a value you'll find that the y value is slightly less than minus 1 it is approaching minus 1 we know it but it will be less than minus 1 and when x approaches positive infinity y will be approaching minus 1 from the positive side as shown here right we could easily sketch the graph since we knew the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. So, and we know the graph is not going to cross the vertical asymptote. So that was the possible option. So it's kind of confirmation of our behavior near the asymptotes. But if that is a requirement in one of the list items, which is sometimes there, I recommend you to, to elaborate on the part which we have not discussed much in this particular video. I'm Anil Kumar. I hope you understand how to find x and y intercepts, asymptotes, and determine the positive, inter positive and negative intervals for a rational function from this video. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.